Good morning. Just zooming in my camera. Making sure I'm live in the right group and we're getting ready to go. I'm a couple minutes early. I finally. I hope you're enjoying all the posts on my Facebook page today. Um, I'm sharing today is free shipping. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you can head over to Facebook to my sample with Roberta VIP group. And, um, I'm sharing a whole bunch of fun posts today about things that are on the last chance list or that you might have overlooked. Um, and today's a great day to stock up on those things because it's free shipping. Um, Stampin' Up! is offering free shipping today on all orders of $75 or more before tax. And um, then you get, like, you order, and then you, if you use the host code, I will send you a free embellishment with your thank you card. But they're going to give you free shipping. So that's awesome. And then, um, so that's that. So today I'm going to show you a little sneak peek. This is coming in the new catalog. This is one of our new punch bundles. It's called the Little Monkey. If you like this at all, then you want to be ready to order because th this, I'm pretty sure this will go on back order. This is a great set. It's kind of like, like our punch bundles tend to go on back order because people like the punches. I prefer, prefer punches over dies. I mean, I love the dies too, but punches are my go-to. I like to grab them and go. We're not using the punch on this card, but that's okay. So we're going to do this quick and cute fun cold, fold, cold folds up. Hi, Iona. Your pre-order still hasn't shipped. Yeah, I love this monkey one. I've been, um, I paid to expedite shipping on my pre-order so that I could create stuff with it for this. So this is our fun fold. So you have a little card inside of a card. Okay. So this is going to be fun. So we're going to get started. So I'm going to set this to the side and we're going to pull in. I'm using, so let me show you. I'm using the little monkey stamp set. I'm not using the punch, but I did buy the bundle. And then I'm using, this is a, um, this right here is an online exclusive. It's called the Radiating Stitch Dies. I love these. We uh, Stampin' Up! retired a few of ours. So it's great that we have some in the online exclusives. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay. So let me... Sorry. Okay. So we got a couple... Let me show you what we need. So to, for today's card, you're going to need, the measurements are going to be on my blog today. Um, so we're going to use Berry Burst. This is one of our returning colors. Um, it is a five and a half, it's five and a half by eight and a half. So it's a quarter, half a sheet of paper. We are going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay. Then we're going to fold it. So we know this is going to be the front of our card, right? So on the front of our card, we want to take that crease line, where that point right there, and come to this point, okay? And we're going to cut this. So this is scrap, but don't throw it away because you can use it for other things, punch, different things, whatever, okay? So next, we're going to need a piece of, this is designer series paper. This is the new beautiful, um, I've been using it a lot, so... It's called the, oh, it's the birthday one. I shouldn't say that because it's, okay, here we go. Sorry, I'm pulling everything out so I can find the name. Bright and Beautiful Designer Series Paper. Okay, I haven't created my label for this yet. That is for sure something that needs to happen soon. So anyways, we're using the bright and beautiful paper. I just chose the circles. And again, we know that we want the art, or we need designer series. We're going to cut it like this. And the reason being is that then our pattern fits on our card right. Okay. So there's that. And then we have this piece. This is three inches by eight and a half. And we are going to just simply score it at four and a quarter. Okay. 
Okay. And that's all of our cutting and scoring. So now we can start putting together and stamping. So we're going to take our two pieces. So this one is going to go here and then this one will go here. Okay. So this is going to be the front of our card. Let's go ahead and put that one on there. And I'm just using seal. Um, I finally got my seal refills in. Okay, and then this one's going to go up here. And I'm just leaving a little border so that it, um, you can, just like that. Okay, let me find my bone folder. Like, I know it's here. I just want to crease that. We're going to bring this piece in and crease it also. Okay, so we're going to open this up and we're going to center this. Okay. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back of this. This is going to make our flip card. Okay. So I'm just closing it and I just want to center it right here. Perfect. So you have a piece of basic white. This is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And this is going to be your inside panel, which I should have stamped my banana on this before I glued it, but we all know that I don't do things right. Okay. So then this is going to be our monkey piece. I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm going to move it back over here. Okay. So we're going to bring in our memento black ink. And first thing you're going to stamp is the greeting, just swinging by to say hi. I'm going to stamp it down here at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to come up here with my branch and I'm just going to stamp it. It's going to stamp off the edge, which is totally fine. That's why I put the grid paper down. And then I'm going to come in with my monkey. I love this set. My um, niece has a little baby and she is just a little over a year old. And I call her my chunky monkey. So when I seen this stamp set, I was like, oh, I have to have that. So then we're going to stamp the banana right here on the inside. Okay. And you could stamp the banana on your envelope. Um, that would be really cute too. So I'm going to bring in my light crumb cake. And that is going to be for my branch. Okay. I'm just coloring my branch and light crumb cake. And I don't have my blends yet for the new colors because I love the pecan pie. So what I did was I come down and I just grabbed one of my, this is SU300. It's one of our skin tones. I'm going to bring my crumb cake back in because I'm going to color his face and his ears. Yeah, if you, I have found the same thing. If you, if there is a punch bundle you want, don't wait. Because I was like, oh, I have plenty of time to get the St. Patrick's Day one. I'll just wait for it. And it sold out. And I didn't get it. Um, I did get the rabbit one, which I'm glad because it's carrying over. So I was really happy about that. But yeah, I was so sad that I did not get that. Because I love my punches. Um, so now when I see one coming out like this monkey, I bought it on pre-order because I didn't want to take a chance that when it went live to customers May 2nd, that they're going to buy us out because <laughs> it's so cute. I love the, an I'm an animal person, so I like all animal stamp sets. Um, so on my list for May 2nd, when the catalog goes live, I'm, I will start out with which punch bundles do I want and go from there. So you can see I colored this monkey, uh, monkey a different color. I just used the, I'm just using the skin tones. Um, this was 300 and I think last on this one, I think I used 400, but it's still cute either way. And then I'm going to grab my, um, mossy meadow light and I'm going to color my branch, my leaves. Okay. Yeah, I um, absolutely love punches. I don't think you can have too many. <laughs> I've always loved punches. So, okay. So what we're going to do with this. Oh, wait, we can need to. 
Thank you, Tanya. And thank you for your order. I got your order. I haven't been able to send out an email yet because I've been busy this morning, but it's coming. <laughs> but yeah, so this is just the dark daffodil delight and I'm just coloring the banana rind and I'll leave the actual banana white. You like punches too, don't you, Tanya? Tanya, sorry. You're still, so yeah, that you, I've seen that you posted that you're still house hunting. I hope you find something soon. Iona. Yeah, I, um, I'm a punch girl, but I seen that Tanya on her order, she ordered punches. So I was like, oh, she's a girl after my own heart. I love a good punch. Okay. So that is our fun fold card for today. I just popped it up on dimensionals on the front. So it just opens and you have a cute fun fold card. This is great, interactive, but easy to do. And uh, you can get um, one out of a piece of cardstock or out of two of them out of two pieces. You know what I mean? So because you need this piece, you can get two bases out of one piece of cardstock. Okay. So if anyone has any questions about today's fun fold card the directions are on my blog today but please send me a message on facebook or dm me on instagram or leave me a comment on youtube um if you have any questions about free shipping and what's going on with it and what um need help placing an order or anything just reach out to me i'm around all day today so thank you for everyone for joining me